Alright. Grand Finals! <laughs> yeah. Nebula versus Yanni. Yeah, this is going to be really... Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like what's going to happen is Yanni is going to either take one game. If if Yanni takes one game, I mean, I feel an immediate switch for Pac-Man. But I feel like if he wins, even if it's close, he's going to uh, Nebula will stay open. It's going to be the patient game for both of them. But I think Nebula is definitely going to play it a lot like better than Yanni. I don't know. I feel like Nebula might get a little aggressive because he's staying on po he's staying Squirtle right now. And Squirtle kind of indicates like I'm just going to run and press buttons. Like, Squirtle's not a character you want to play, like, passive and campy with. Because if you give your opponent room to breathe, you're, the, you know, like, the third lightest character in the game. You're going to die. Ooh, spin out. Yep. And going to catch you. Try to go for the upbeat chase. Good jump away from Yanni. Nice try with the down air. Using, you know, the maximum range of that hitbox. Mm -hmm. I like how Nebula waited this time around. Because he, he knew that if he jumped to chase, Yanni would just jump away. And then Ko uh, Koopa back and then jump again. So he made Yanni feel like it was safe to recover low. And then he went to chase and rose, uh, did a rising dare, which spiked him. So really good work. Switching to Charizard, trying to get these combos. Gets a good string going. But I'm about to say, the life of a Charizard is a scary one. On the bright side, because of his heavy factor, he was able to live through uh, cart. Mm -hmm. Ooh, could not super armor through that cannonball. Is there a back throw? Ooh, that back air would have taken it. Mm -hmm. Especially with the sweet spot. Dash tag, waiting it out, trying to go for up tilt and didn't get anything, but able to up smash out of it. Like, okay, I guess. Wow. Yeah, okay, I'm surprised Nebula box. didn't try to cheese and go for an up because that probably would have killed. Right there, down smash will, though. My man, the tips of the tail. I'm sorry, tips of the wings. Ooh. <laughs> It's okay, he wanted eggs for anyways. How often have I seen that today? We're just like, oh, hey, look, he's gonna spawn and just kill the dude. You know, I guess it's kind of fair, though. If you if you want Ivy, then switching to Squirtle and trying to get some extra credit with your frame data works. And if you die immediately, it's like, oh, well, I'm on Ivy for free. I don't have to waste my iframe swapping. Yeah. But swapping to Charizard again, I guess he's just trying to go for the mix-up of this heavy character. Back here, catching the side B. It's kind of interesting. I, I always see Nebula play more of Ivysaur than second Squirtle, and I hardly ever see him play Charizard. So, I mean, that was kind of the case when he very first, like, very at the beginning. And it, it's kind of been mainly here. He does kind of do that, that trend. But at Smashville, I remember he sometimes will switch and use Charizard. Just because it's a good it's a mix-up. Because people don't expect the Charizard. They're, they're expecting, okay, mindset of playing against an Ivy and then maybe a Squirtle. And then just trying to edge guard the Charizard, but, I mean, playing Charizard in neutral, even though he's not, you know, the best character in the game, it's such a good mix-up, because you're, like, you're not prepared to play against this heavy beast, you know, you're like, oh, okay, I guess Charizard has something in neutral. Oh, wow, Whoa. trying to get some weird combo, like, uh, a clip right there, but not gonna. Backer gonna cash throw. In this scenario, I was just not going back Charizard, because it looks like uh, Nyani kind of had that download on that character. Basically. Uh, Backer gonna take him off stage. Not to mention, when it comes to playing a Koopa Kid, it's like the bigger the hit player's hitbox, the better. Yes. Because a lot of your combos that wouldn't be true on a lot of other characters become pretty uh, pretty cool looking, we'll say. What is he doing? I don't know, stubbornness. Just like Ash's Charizard. Yeah. That's laziness. <laughs> Ooh, catching the last hit on Porter. This is still anybody's game right now. Mm -hmm. Almost gonna, almost took the stock there too. That that would have been interesting. I really do feel like the stubbornness on this pick is kind of what's costing him, because he was doing he, he was doing really well. He had this lead for a while. It looks like Yanni hasn't been touched for like a hot minute, and he's now lapped uh, Nebula in percent. He needs to start landing with uh, Rock Smash. Yeah, if only. What if they change side B to Rock Smash? It'd be interesting. Oh? Take out Flare Blitz. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be real interesting. Right now, you know what it is? I, I think if Nebula gets a grab, up throw kills. I think, just because of his own rage. Yep. Seismic Dolls? Wait, nope, not gonna take it? Ooh. Okay, if he did it on platform, definitely. But back, you're gonna take it. Yep.
Yo, wait, we don't need that on the stream again. No violence. <laughs> Have you ever seen this man's Ken combos? I don't know if I want to see the Ken combos. It took like five years to load. Yeah, it happens. Anyways. Yeah, game, uh, game two, going back to uh, Pokemon Stadium. And like I said, since he won the game, even though it was close, he's like, yeah, I'm still going to play. I, I <laughs> it's such a wonky, like, interaction. I think any water box does that to Mechagoopa. Wow, okay, not shape, not shape on that. I guess because it's technically a command. Um, how um, that works is that because Squirtle bo bounces into it, he basically gets release of his eye frame. Eye okay. frame's on it. Yeah, because like, I know command grab's going to beat it. So I think command grabs are the only thing to beat it, otherwise it just kind of trades. Yeah, Kooplings are basically an object. So mm -hmm. as soon as he actually hits it, he bounces off of it, loses eye frames, and it hits by the explosion itself. Same philosophy goes when it comes to Ganon's Warlock Punch. If a Squirtle side beats into the uh, super armor of it, he just bounces off and takes the punch. Yeah, he takes the damage, but he doesn't take the knockback. No, oh, no, he takes the punch and the knockback. No, because we, we, we tried it the one time, remember? No, that's if I hit the punch. If you hit my super armor, you're getting punched. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. Wait, he doesn't knock out of it? Interesting. Nope. Not much does. And if right it does, there, back here, the end leg off of the Mega Koopa caused the stock. I don't know why he's playing Charizard, but it's it's, it's pseudo working. <laughs> it, it, it's got some plays. Like, so, it, it gets into stocks, but it's making the matches a lot closer than I think they would be. Ford, they're not going to take wow. it. Good DI on that Heavy part. boy. I feel like it's not going to work next time, though. You know, even though it's stale, it's not going to work. He was oh. looking for that. Why'd he go up? Um, Koopa? That was spin out. You know, I, I think it's a weird hitbox. He wasn't on the ground when it hit. He was a little up. So maybe there's a different hitbox like that's slightly above Angle, the, yeah. the horizontal hitbox. Up smash, going to punish uh, the MPR. Alright, now play. we're back to Squirtle with the combo games for days. I wonder if does Squirtle's up he kill. Probably 120, 130. I would imagine, depending on the character, yeah. I'd say mid weights, I would agree with that. Maybe like 110, 120. Good switch out. Now playing Ivy. Trying to, I, I guess, you know, Nebula keeps going for these like chases as if Yanni's not going to jump out. A lot, like, a lot of the time, whenever Yanni plays, it looks like whenever he's in disadvantage, his immediate thought is to jump out of things. Indeed. Like, so it. Maybe instead of going for these uh, these chases from someone DIing away, if Nebula changes up his game to go for people who are, ooh, ooh. about to say jumping like that, it, it definitely will reward him a lot more. <laughs> it's not Smash 4. Alright. So... Nebula just looking for some extra credit right now. Mm -hmm. And back with the jumping habit, I do believe it comes from just him just side being so often. Yeah, he can just jump anyways. He thinks if I get hit out of my jump, I can jump again. It doesn't matter. The jump button's like a second nature to him. Mm -hmm. But that's also like a bad habit just because, you know, like I said, if Nebula changes up his game plan from trying to chase DIing away to like chasing jumps, it'll take, you know, it'll put him in a really good spot. Like how he took the second stock there. He kind of called out the jump with an up air. Ooh, okay, spin, spin out. Actually, gonna take it this time. The uh, I guess the grounded hitbox. I, I said I'm assuming there has to be a hitbox above the grounded one that sends vertically or something. But either way, Squirtle gonna come out. Ooh. <laughs> and Squirtle also gonna land right onto uh, the cannonball there. Getting hit by one of the worst moves in the game. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, it works. Backer. And a chase. Trying to go for an up smash call out, but. Yanni able to retreat with that jump. Oh, look at Squirtle. <laughs> he just wants to play fetch with that Koopa. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mega Koopa is gone. My man is just trolling. All Nebula doing <laughs> is making Yanni wet. Yo, wait, chill. <laughs> I thought he had the Alter Instinct read on that one. Yeah, I would say, huh? Okay. Good swap out, but I'm gonna get punished for it. Back air coming out, trying to chase, but up air is gonna call it anyways. 
Nebula, stop making Yanni wet. Yo, please don't. <laughs> Make it a reverse 6 though, and you got a deal. That's fair, yeah. Now comes the, the jitters up again, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you reverse 3, uh, oh, set 1, it's now game 3. Nebula 2 0. <laughs> yep. Alright. Sorry guys, I'll change this. I got distracted by the players. Well, wow. Once that, again, uh, back here. I, I swear, every time I see a Koopalin gets, you know, water gun right off the stage, I just can't I, imagine how it feels. I, I think it's just like Koopalin in general loses to like water boxes, because the same thing happens with fire hydrant. Yeah. Like fire hydrant kind of there's no voids. I'm assuming in wow. the same instinct. Oh. So he actually did side B as Squirrel into the um and before it up. before active Koopalin. That's all right. And he actually armored through it. Up smash, I'm sorry, forward smash, gonna take it. Uh oh, here comes the Charizard. Yeah, I know. Forwarder, jump backer. He all right. He had the right idea, but just not the right placement. It, it looks like he was trying to catch like a Yanni jump, but Yanni was uh, a little too. He was a little for it. In it. Yeah. He didn't go for a jump at the time. He kind of side beat and finished it. Flare Blitz into stage. Unfortunate. Right. <laughs> but hey, make it back. Back are going to take it? Ooh. Jeez. All right. Let's see uh, what kind of thick combos uh, Charizard can get. I think. I don't think Charizard really. Like, his combos were like down throw into forward air, early percents. I'm assuming if it's still there from Smash 4. It still is, yeah. And then post that, it's just like, like straight hits to kill. I definitely want to see Nebula try to go for, um, what is it, back throw, uh, player blitz? Mm -hmm. Up smash, they're going to take it. I don't know if he wants to do it now with this, uh, this stock deficit. No. Because going for a uh, flare blitz like that, we saw the same thing happen, I think. I don't remember Rog. who Rog was playing against, but yeah, he kind of did that and didn't work out in his favor. I think it was, uh, Rog versus Myth? No. I don't remember. I'll have to look, I'll look at Bracket real quick. Also. Card decided just to uh, beat out back air on Squirtle. That was nice. It happens. Um, it was Rog. It was Rog Yanni. Oh, Rog so a similar situation. Uh, two, two. Oh. Uh, yep. Water gun. That's so mad because the end like on it gives him enough time to still shield. He's like, all right, I pushed him back far enough. Once again, still yet. That is so interesting. Switching to Ivy. Razor gonna come out. Trying to land on shield at forward air, not really the best idea. I feel like maybe just like an empty, like a tomahawk grab, maybe would have been a better idea. <laughs> Alright, here comes the lane game. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, okay. Very smart of him not to immediately go up, but still gonna lose to the second hit. Oh, wait, no, Livin. Oh, 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 oh Livin. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, good try. Calling up the swap with that back here, that's funny. I think he would have died if he was Ivysaur. Ooh, good four there coming out. Almost eating the mess match, though. Yeah, back in. Not the sweet spot, though. Sweet spot this time. Nope, it's our. It's still Tokyo. Yeah, 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 sorry. Alright, um. <laughs> now I will see it. Is this the comeback? Is this the joke? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Just running around. <laughs> it means Founder, nothing. I'm smashed. No, not gonna work. Oh, oh my god, the jab coming up before the forward smash. He is a man. You know what it is? That's the problem of uh, of, yeah, of Larry. Because it's like, forward smash has really bad startup, but the end leg on is just disgusting. Forward air gonna come out, not gonna kill. But, okay. oh no! Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys. I saw it too, man. You're Please waiting for the support Yanni the villain tonight. <laughs> Yo, Yanni trying to do the nebula to nebula? Wait, this doesn't work out. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see where. Oh, what's your, what's your banner? 
Pokemon Trainer. And, uh, you know, whatever. We don't have to see Larry's. Uh, that's, that's fine. Whatever. We... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Go into another Pokemon game of Pokemon Stadium. Stadium. Hey, you know what? I don't care. No matter what, it will have to be. It'll be years before like I'm upset with seeing another Pokemon Stadium because Smashville and Smash Four like destroyed me. Not to mention Smashville in this game is kind of lame. Well, Smashville is like, not that bad. It just it, it's it's not picked as much because it's not off. Like, it's not like okay, I was gonna say optimal, but it's not that good of a stage. It's not like a more well-rounded stage. It's more of a. Uh, it is more of a counter pick now. Yeah, I guess is the best way to put it. Especially if you're playing against a uh, Donkey Kong who yeah. cargo throws in a Ding Dong. Or Ganondorf, you can just up smash everything. Right there, trying to chase. I'm not gonna lie, I would have been the dumb person and chased without BS Squirtle. And then probably died because of it. Yeah. Right now, though, oh, swapping to himself in the lead. You know? And then going back to Charizard. Expecting Yanni to come back on the stage with that uh, up B, try to hammer him. No, absolutely not. Oh, up B? I'm sorry, up air. I'm sorry. He's just aerial, I guess, in that scenario. When you up B with the aerial. Flare Blitzing away just to make sure nothing happens. It, it's weird. It looks like Flare Blitz moves at like a similar speed to uh, Clown Cart side B, so where he can't really chase him and punch him. Okay, waiting on that forward smash. Yeah, good job and just rolling away. Jab oh, coming out. Almost eating the jab. Trying to chase with that. That was such a bad idea. You Let's know, when, whenever a Charizard just like side bees in anything, I feel like like every move in the game can punish it. You know, I agree. It's like the opposite of Squirtle's uh, thing. Oh, Connor. Trying to go for a weird forward smash read. Yeah, it, it, it's like Charizard's Flare Blitz is the opposite of Squirtle's uh, side B. rapid spin. <sighs> Wait, no, it's, no, it's withdrawal, my bad. Withdrawal. It should be rapid spin. Alright. I like how Nebula keeps like using directional air dodge to catch up these uh, Mecha Koopas, mm. but I feel as though he can get like really punished from doing it. I also feel like he's stubbornly using this. Yeah, let's go platform. Or is he stubbornly using Charizard? You could talk about how like, his, his Foxtrot is very interesting. Where, Charizard. Where just him just, like, it, it's like super. you see the wings slowly flap once. I wonder if he'll do it again. Not to mention, it's like him literally just spinning around in circles. Mm -hmm. Finishing the jab to get the spot dodge out. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yanni. Interrupted up smash two up smash. Let's go. Oh, oh still Evan. Just remember, Charizard is part of the Thick Daddy Club. Right there. One for a forward smash. I wonder if he flared with right there. That would have been that would have been an interesting call out. That would have been an interesting trade, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, going a little bit too uh, soon with that up there to call out that recovery choice. But back at Zard. Yo, trying to play like a Ness? <laughs> Sit on ledge back throw. This is definitely not where Nebula back here? now wants to be. Wow, okay, the second hit of that fair saving him. Yeah, the, the grounded hitbox. Mm hmm. It's really weird. It's like, no, not oh, like this. No, calling him out like a champ. Yeah, just like that. Your Nebula's gonna take it three-one. Everyone did great. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. Good job, Ivysaur.